There's a lot of dermatologist and esthetician approved skincare out there, but it's usually quite expensive. Well, Derm Store is having a beauty refresh sale and some of my favorite products, including products that doctors and derms recommend are 20% off. So as a medical esthetician, who's also vegan and cruelty free and happens to be having breakouts, I wanted to break down the products that are actually worth it, that you should definitely stock up on if they're 20% off or that it might be worth giving a try if you are able to get them on sale. Now there are some to steer clear of as well. Derm store does make it pretty easy to find good products, but not every single one is recommended. And even though some of these are my favorite brands, some of these lines do have products that are hit and miss. So let's start with that. And let's first start with the new face. I really do love the new face. I've seen that it helps me contour my cheeks and promote lymphatic drainage. Now, a lot of people tout that it has this collagen stimulating benefit. While that may be true, your money is better spent on something like a chemical peel or like an actual chemical peel in clinic if you really want collagen stimulation. But new face does do microcurrent really well, which stimulates ATP in the skin and can also act as lymphatic drainage and it actually micro shocks the muscles under the skin, helping to train them just like you would in a gym. Now, I love the new face, but I always speak about wanting to use the mini as opposed to the large device. I feel like the mini is very similar to the regular device. And if you're not switching out the little nozzles for other things, like I think they have like an LED, I would just go for the mini. Now the caveat is if you can get this on sale, whether it's the mini or the regular one, get it on sale. I think that the new face is absolutely a must have on sale. And the best part is that Derm Store has this not only for 20% off, but they also have new faces serums and kind of gel creams. All microcurrent devices need something to conduct that electricity. And I actually owe you a video on the best and worst microcurrent gels because there are some out there that I do not recommend. Well, the new face has some that are actually really good. They have a gel cream and like a silk cream and even kind of like a peptide serum. Oh my gosh, if you want firm, plump looking skin, the new face plus the peptide serum is amazing. If you have more dry skin, the cream is really good. And of course the gel formula is a little bit better for oily skin. And what's great about these is that they're not only made to work with the new face device, but you can leave them on and actually go along with your day. They've been out for a few years now. The ingredients lists are amazing. And if you already have a new face, then the new face kind of microcurrent conduction gel creams are a must. And if you don't have the new face, but you've been thinking about it for a while, 20% off is the time to get it. Now, if you're someone who doesn't use devices regularly, this might not be right for you. And that's when we have to talk about some other options that are available from some other brands. Specifically, Medicate. Medicate is an amazing brand. They're actually from Australia and they have one of the best retinol serums that I've ever used. This is retinol with an A, not an O. Retinol is what we see over the counter all the time and it's a wonderful form of a retinoid that your skin transforms into the potent retinoic acid form, but retinaldehyde is a step above that. So retinol is actually just one step away from conversion to what your skin can literally take in, use, and refresh skin cells. Now, Biosance and Youth to the People also have retinol serums. They're both pretty good. I really like the Biosance one better than the Youth to the People one because the Youth to the People one, I saw it was like making people's skin yellow. And I was like, we don't, we don't need this energy here. We don't need some jaundice energy here. Thank you. But the Medicate one has never done that. And it is super potent. It is super effective and it doesn't cause the dryness and the peeling and the irritation that normal Tretinoa does. The Cristal Retinol is amazing. Now Medicate also has a couple of other products. I haven't played around with them all, but if you're going to get them at 20% off, or if you're going to get double points at Derm Store on them, this is another one that you should consider. This is the Hydrate B5 Intense NMF Serum. This is basically hyaluronic acid Acid and natural moisturizing factors. And if you didn't see my recent video about why I put hyaluronic acid back in my routine, baby, it is time. I found that hyaluronic acid was actually helping me speed up my wound healing process. And when I took it out of my routine during the winter, I didn't realize that my skin actually kind of liked it. Now hyaluronic acid is in a ton of different products, which is why I felt like I didn't need it. But when I have it as a dedicated step in my routine, I do think it makes kind of a difference. If you can actually see, I have a little bit of a rash right here on my face. I tried a product, it didn't work. This is why we patch test. Okay, babes, but because this has been so irritated, I've been using my hyaluronic acid serum on this area to help calm it down. Now, this one is specifically new to me. It is a little bit of this kind of pinkish color, I want to say. It's pretty clear, but it kind of has like a little pink tint. And this one has this vitamin B as well as the natural moisturizing factors and hyaluronic acid. The hyaluronic acid that's in my routine for like my entire face is the Thirst Trap from Wishful. I love that one. However, it does have a little bit of fragrance in it. So when my skin is super irritated, I don't want to put that on. So this again is brand new to me so far. 
far, I would recommend it, although I have not used the entire bottle and I could not vouch to how good the entirety of it is. And I have been using this alongside my Metature moisturizer as well as some of my Elta MD face masks. So just keep that in mind because I do think that that has been, you know, playing a part. But if you want to try some great Australian or A skincare, literally Medicate is phenomenal. I really love this brand. They have multiple products that are super good and I actually might use the Derm Stores 20% off to do a little bit of my own shopping to stock up on a few more things I want to try. Now, while Medicaid is recommended by Doctors and Derms, one of the top brands that Doctors and Derms are always raving about is Elta MD. And yes, Elta MD has some goodies that are 20% off on the Derm Store sale. Now, not every Elta MD product is a hit. For example, recently I tried one of their new sunscreens and it was Paste City Paste Paste City SPF 35 on your keratinocytes. It was bad. <laughs> but Elta MD does have some amazing products, one of which is amazing in my routine. So the first is for those acne prone people like me. If you tend to have acne, if you tend to be a little bit oily, this Elta MD sunscreen is so freaking good. This is the UV Clear Broad Spectrum 46, and this has ingredients like niacinamide that actually support the skin and other antioxidants that actually help to wound heal. You know, if you are someone that does have a couple of these little breakouts or these irritation prone spots. And the great thing about this is that this actually goes on sheer. Whereas not all sunscreens go on sheer and not all Elta MD sunscreens even go on sheer. This one is called the UV Clear and while it does go onto the skin in a clear manner, it really just means that it's formulated for those who are breakout prone. Now, doctors and derms absolutely love this. It's UVA, UVB protection. You know that derms recommend sunscreens all the time, but often Elta MD can be a little bit out of reach because it is expensive. But when it's 20% off, it's an amazing deal. Even when it's not 20% off, I buy it full price. I specifically get this full price. But if I can get it on sale, I'm going to. And if you've always wanted to try Elta MD, but the pricing just wasn't right, maybe the 20% off makes it a little bit more palatable. Now I have tried, if not every, almost every Elta MD sunscreen, and I will say most are pretty good. There are a couple that are pasty. They have some really good tinted sunscreens as well that I recommended to Lucy Tate, who is a quote unquote normal person whose skincare routine I reacted to. But Elta MD has some really good options, and if you haven't had a chance to explore them, I would recommend doing so. Now the other product that I would highly recommend that's currently in my routine is this night mask. This is the Skin Recovery Night Mask, and this is so good. It is kind of thick, but it ends up kind of going on like a gel. If you use too much, it can kind of ball up, but I find if my skin needs recovery, specifically something like this, this overnight just leaves my skin feeling so supple in the morning. Some of the key ingredients in here are eggplant, turmeric, and jojoba, which are wonderful. And the fact that Elta MD has fragrance-free products is also great for those who are sensitive. But turmeric is known to be brightening, it can help with dark spots and pigmentation. The eggplant in here is an amazing antioxidant and jojoba mimics what our skin produces naturally. I absolutely love this. This also has a ton of amino acids. Amino acids are the building blocks of peptides and proteins. So this actually helps to nourish and hydrate the skin overnight without making me feel really greasy in the morning. And if your skin is damaged, if you just exfoliated, if your skin burns, again, this is fragrance free, so it works extraordinarily well. I love, 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 love this. Something else I love, 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 love is Paula's Choice. And yes, many derms recommend Paula's Choice, including some of my favorites. You probably know Dr. Dre. And if you don't know Dr. Dre on YouTube, okay, fix your priorities, okay? Happy Skincare Saturday, everyone. Well, Dr. Dre loves Paula's Choice, and so do many other doctors and derms. And it's because they're a really great line. They make it pretty easy to navigate their products, and they have awesome, awesome actives. Paula herself is not actually a dermatologist, but she is an esthetician, and her products have been around for years because they freaking work. Now, it's hard to go wrong with a Paula's Choice product. There are a few that I don't like, but in general, if you know how to turn and learn your ingredients, you can find some great stuff. But if you wanted me to pick three favorites, especially while they're 20% off, I could not recommend these enough. The first one is this. This is the 25% AHA, 2% BHA exfoliating peel rinse off treatment. This is a bright purple color. This is like a slightly more gentle version of the Ordinary's AHA BHA peel, but it turns you into a galactic unicorn. This is absolutely beautiful. If you want to have fun and if you want to up your exfoliation game without actually going into clinic, this is it. It's worth it full price, but it's also worth it at 20% off. And that's how I'd prefer to get it. One of my all time favorite Paula's Choice products is something that I use all the freaking time, not only on myself, but for other people. I recommend this nonstop. This right here is the 10% Azelaic Acid 
acid booster. And if you have rosacea, if you have redness in the skin, if you're pregnant or breastfeeding, of course, speak with your doctor and your derm. But azelaic acid is safe to use while breastfeeding and it works wonderfully for rosacea or pustular rosacea alongside acne. This is so good. And there are prescription treatments of azelaic acid, usually like 15 to 20%. Those are great, but this is 10%. So you're getting a pretty high strength over the counter. This can be blended into other products or it can be used on its own. But if you tend to flush, if you get a lot of that red erythema, really a lot of redness, especially from rosacea that you've been diagnosed with, oh my gosh, this is so good. Again, the price is right. It's like a little green leprechaun that I like to keep in my little skincare arsenal. And I love to recommend this to people, but this is a slam dunk. Now this does have salicylic acid and licorice, which makes it even better for my skin because I'm acne prone. If you are pregnant or breastfeeding, of course, ask your OBGYN and your dermatologist because some doctors say not to use salicylic acid when pregnant or breastfeeding, but some say that it's totally fine. So I say go ask your care team because it's better to be safe than sorry. But if you do have rosacea or if you're looking for acne and rosacea treatments that are not retinoids, this is so good. Now, another absolute favorite is right here, the youth hydrating fluid. This is so good from Paula's Choice. And I was even thinking like when it comes to my top threes, should I feature the AHA BHA liquid? Cause that one's really good too. The AHA BHA liquid is amazing. But when I compare it to this, I kind of like the galactic unicorn peel more. So if you made me choose a third, it would be this one. This is the youth extending daily hydrating fluid SPF 50. And this is the closest thing that American beauty has ever gotten to K beauty. This goes on so sheer. This is so beautiful. It's an SPF 50. It is lightweight. Paula's choice just knocked it out of the park with this one. And I've recommended this to so many people who all say that not only do they love it, but they go back and buy like five more. Not to mention it's a really good price, especially if you apply enough of it every single day. Sunscreen can get expensive because we're reapplying. We're making sure that we put it on all areas that are exposed to the skin. Again, we love our L to MD, but it can get pricey. And that's why a lot of people have different facial sunscreens than body sunscreens. But this one from Paula's Choice, especially when it's 20% off, it protects against UVA and UVB rays, but then it also has ingredients like oat that actually nourish the skin with beta glucans to hydrate. This is so, so good. Now, Paula's Choice might be an SD bestie, but so is Dermalogica. Dermalogica is one of the brands that I was actually trained on in aesthetic school way back in 2009. And again, there are some products that are hits and some that are misses, but oh my goodness, there are some staples in my bag from Dermalogica and you need to know about them. The first one is the daily microfoliant. This is so good. And a lot of people use it wrong because they put it in their hand and mix it with water and shove it on their face. Yeah, it works, but it's scratchy. If you want to fluff this up with a brush, it becomes like egg whites and then you paint it across the skin. It is beautiful. This has rice, so it's not overly scratchy on the skin. It's actually quite soft. And then on top of that, it's got enzymes and AHAs to break down skin cells. And they say it's gentle enough to use every day. I still don't love to use this in the morning. I will sometimes. I use it a lot when I'm traveling, but I love this for the evening. And although this is the regular one, they also have like an extreme version. And then they have the milk foliant, which is a super gentle version that has like coconut milk as well as some oats and more beta glucans. This is fantastic from Dermalogica. They also have the mini size. I think the regular one is like $64, but I keep purchasing this again and again and again. One of the best products, one of the best exfoliants I've like ever used in my entire life. And if you haven't tried this, get it 20% off or get the milk fully if you want something that's a little bit more calming. Overall, super amazing. Now, another favorite is the pre-cleanse. This is more of a luxury, but this smells so lovely. This is basically a makeup removing oil and it works extremely well. Now, if you just put olive oil or jojoba oil from Trader Joe's on your face, yes, that will also do the trick. That'll be more than fine removing makeup, but this is a really unique formula that while it is expensive, it's a luxury product, I find it to be worth it in my routine and I love using this on others, as long as you're not sensitive to some of the plant ingredients in here. This is beautiful because it doesn't leave an oily film on the skin. It goes on like an oil. It removes makeup, dirt, sunscreen with like without having to tug, especially if you're working on someone else's face, you don't wanna be tugging on them to get their makeup off. This works so good. And then actually rinses off into kind of like a milky lather. Really beautiful. Again, very close to K-Beauty, but there's so much nostalgia wrapped up in this product for me and it is so good. Again, it's expensive. And and even I have a hard time paying money for this sometimes because things like the Inky List's Oat Cleansing Balm exist. And the Oat Cleansing Balm is definitely a different texture. This is a liquid that is like a chunky balm, but that'll get the makeup off, right? And I'm like, if I have that for $10, why would I spend 50 or 60 on this? Well, baby, if you can spend less because it's 20% off, this is absolutely gorgeous. And I love this one. The Dermalogica recently launched some products that I kind of wanted to hate, but ended up falling in love with. They first launched an encapsulated red 
retinol serum that I wanted to love and I thought I was going to, I would give it like a six or seven out of 10. I found that it kind of balled up on my skin and encapsulated retinol is supposed to be more gentle. I found that it was actually really potent. If you want results, $92 for the encapsulated retinol, go for it. But just be careful because it's not super sensitive skin friendly. As you can see, uh, my face and my emotions have been sensitive recently, but they extended some of their oxygen lines. There's one product from them that's like $150 for a toner that I love. But again, that is a luxury. I'm not going to be buying that every day, like if it's not on sale. Well, they launched some new things that I wanted to hate and I ended up falling in love with one. So they have a Phyto Nature Firming Serum and they also have a Phyto Nature Oxygen Cream. The serum is okay, but the oxygen cream, babe, this is where it's at. It's out of the box because it is in my bathroom because I have been using it and loving it. It has jojoba in it. And there are specific ingredients in here that they say kind of help to nourish and kind of refresh the skin. But I find that my skin feels invigorated when I use this. There are some plant extracts, but for me, they act more as antioxidant boosters than anything else. And again, I really wanted to hate this because of the price, but I ended up falling in love with this. And if you're looking for something that is firming, that is hydrating, that gives you a little bit of a luminous glow without feeling Feeling greasy, this is going to be the answer. If you want a mattified look, this is not going to be it. But if you do want like some firming and some hydration on those fine lines and wrinkles, this one does a great job. They actually have this little before and after on the side and I was like, bullshit. That's not that good. Again, this is just my anecdotal experience, but it was that good. I liked it more than I liked the serum. The serum also claimed to have really good results. I think I need to test this out a little bit more and I'm still in the process of using up this one, but oh my gosh, I did not expect to fall in love with this the way that I did. And again, with Dermalogica, they have some products that are hits and some that are misses, but this one, 20% off or not, this one is a luxury, but this one is good. Now, one product that I was going to feature is Olaplex, but Olaplex told somebody on Instagram to shut up after somebody on Instagram said, Olaplex, your products are making my hair fall out. What's going on? Like, can you address this? I don't know if Olaplex is causing hair breakage because of the disulfide bonds. I don't know if it's not. We're gonna have to do a follow-up video on that, but I was going to speak about Olaplex in the Derm Store 20% off sale. And at this point, I'm gonna have to retract that and say, even though it was on my list of things that I would like to stock up on, let's figure out what's going on if these people are actually struggling with hair loss or if they're using other things or using the product improperly. Because you know, I'm already losing my hair and let's just say that I don't wanna lose any more of it, okay? Derm Store also stocks Dr. Dennis Gross and boy, does Dr. Dennis Gross have some good products. One is their LED mask. Now this is super fancy, it's like $400. I do have a budget version, which is what I like to use. It's the Derma Beam, specifically the Derma Beam Pro. But if you wanna look like a cyborg, if you wanna look amazing, mine is dead because I used it all up. If you actually want to charge your device and look like a cyborg, this is the way to do it. Dr. Dennis Gross actually did clinical testing on their LED devices. They did them right. You have these cutouts for the eye areas so it's not interfering with vision. It actually comes with a strap that straps around your head, but just like I didn't charge mine, I didn't put the strap back on. As you can see, she's had a week, okay? She's, do you see? Literally, she's had a week. But the other thing about this is that the way the LEDs are situated, they're kind of these bubbled ones, so they actually disperse across the skin as opposed to just targeting one area and not really going elsewhere. They did a really good job on this, and while it is a luxury, if you can get this on sale, I would highly recommend it. Dr. Dennis Gross does some good products. There are some that can actually be a little sensitizing to skin, but they also have their alpha beta peel pads. Oh my gosh, almost everything from Dr. Dennis Gross's alpha beta peel line is so good. But the peel pads are great because they have an advanced peel pad, they have like a light peel pad, and if you want something that is intense, you can get it. Or if you want something that's even gentle enough to use almost every other day, Dr. Dennis Gross has you covered. Again, they have some other really good products, like they have a marine serum that I also like. If you can get them 20% off, then go for it. But if you've always wanted to try Dr. Dennis Gross and it's been just out of budget, I would highly recommend starting with the peel pads. Just start with the lighter one and you can build your way up. Or if you're really looking to spend and you wanna get an amazing LED cyborg mask that helps with fine lines and wrinkles and collagen production as backed by science and the clinical studies that they did, I have to say, I didn't wanna love this one, but I am loving it. I do have to compare this to a few other ones for you. We have a follow-up video, subscribe if you haven't already, but this is a fun time. <laughs> Speaking of other devices, Skin Ink. So Skin Ink is a super fun brand that I actually used to use back in 2014. I got a facial done by them in Barcelona, which they customized 
to my skin and it was so good. They have what's called the Daily Dose Serum, where it's kind of a serum base that they customize to your skin and they blend in actives. My specific Daily Dose Serum that is actually currently in my routine right now has ceramides, niacinamide, and vitamin A, AKA retinol. And it's so funny because the actual device is what scanned my skin and chose and custom curated that blend for me, which is hilarious because when I think about my favorite ingredients, I would literally say, you know, sunscreen, of course, but then retinoids, ceramides, and probably niacinamide. And it was amazing that the actual artificial intelligence tool was able to pick that up and custom blend it to me so well. The Skin Ink is amazing and it is sold at Derm Store. The only thing I would say is that if you know what you want, go ahead and get one of the encapsulated serums. They are really amazing. But I think that the best experience you can have is actually getting your skin tested in like the Skin Ink bar or getting the tool and actually testing it yourself and having the serum custom blended to you. Now there are some products from Skin Ink that I would recommend even if you're not getting them custom blended, such as the Pure Deep Sea Hydrating Mask and their hand creams. Oh my God, their hand creams are so good. They have a hand sanitizer that has skincare in it. So instead of leaving your hands and your cuticles feeling dry and crusty, it hydrates and nourishes your hands and it sanitizes them at the same time. Skin Ink hand cream is above everything else in my personal opinion. Well, the Skin Ink Deep Sea Hydra Mask is also amazing. You know that I'm obsessed with the Pyongkang Yule Essence Toner. That one just feels like grape jelly on my skin. Well, this product to me feels like the mask version of that. This is amazing. And the way this works is that it's this beautiful deep sea hydra jelly mask, but you can actually leave this on as a moisturizer if you would like to, or you can mix your custom skin ink serum into it. For example, if you know that you love retinol, or if you know that you love ceramides, you can literally get one of the little boosters and actually inject it into here. That's what I did with mine. I used the ceramide booster. So this is literally a hyaluronic acid deep sea ceramide moisture cream. And I love this. This one is also super lightweight. It doesn't like suffocate the skin. And especially if you live in a humid climate, if you're going into spring and summer, this is amazing. It's almost cooling to the skin. Whereas the Elta MD is a little bit thick. This one's more like a comforter on the skin. This one is like a lightweight, oh my gosh, like a sheet mask for your skin is what this feels like. And there is something about the deep sea hydra water that's also in Purito and Pyongyang Yul products. I don't know what it is, but I actually feel a difference on my skin. And in my brain, I'm just like, okay, it's water from the deep sea. Like what does it have salt in it? Like what is the difference, right? The actual scientific side of my brain wants to understand this. But from a marketing perspective, heck, if it says deep sea water, it's like, Cassandra, come over here. And I do. And then I fall in love with it. Now this is expensive, but there is a ton of it. It's expensive. So get it on sale. But again, when it comes to the actual custom serum blends, if you know what you want, or if you've gotten a skin ink facial, first off, lucky you, because they're some of the best facials in the world, literally in the entire world. But if you haven't gotten your custom blend, you could guess, but I'd recommend actually, you know, getting your skin tested. Now, Derm Store also sells some of the skin ink testing devices. This is from Savvy AI plus skin ink. So it's basically AI technology plus skin ink skincare. The only thing is that I didn't realize there are two versions of this. I can only vouch for the version that I've used. There appears to be another tool or another device. I'm not familiar with that one. I just know this one. And the way this works, I I'm obsessed with this and I even use it with my non-skin ink products because I just want to play around in my bathroom. This has a moisture sensor and it actually senses the hydration level of your skin. This is amazing. And this has been monumental for me to see like which products actually work, which ones actually hydrate my skin versus those that don't. Now there is a caveat because you have to make sure that your skincare is soaked in before you do this. But when I test this before and after my skincare application or when I'm traveling before and after a plane or in different climates, whole Holy sh my skin score is unreal. Now it uses AI or artificial intelligence to actually scan your skin and see like how bright are your eyes? How many wrinkles do you currently have? What are your blemishes looking like? And then it makes recommendations over time. I love this. And I just wish that this could like drink eight glasses of water for me. You see, it works with your phone and you get to decide kind of what information you share. I just shared all of my information because fuck it, I want it to work as best as it can, but it actually looks at how much you've slept, how much water you've consumed, how many steps you've taken. And it helps to customize your skincare recommendations based on that. I've been so blown away by this. This part right here is also supposed to be LED and microcurrent. I don't find this LED really to be as impressive as anything like this. Like this is impressive. 
impressive. The handheld LEDs, Light Stim is a good one, which I think is also on sale at Derm Store. That's a good handheld LED. And then the Solar Wave is my favorite for like a little pen for on the go. I could say that this is a yes for on the go, but I wouldn't say this is a slam dunk. So this claims to have like a sonic pulsed electromagnetic field. This actually penetrates ingredients deeper into your skin. When I first started using this, I thought it was microcurrent. I don't know why, maybe it's because the Solar Wave claimed that they were microcurrent. This is not microcurrent and I don't feel it contracting my muscles at all. Basically the LED lights up, which can also do a less good version of something like this with collagen stimulation or killing acne bacteria. And then the actual electromagnetic field is supposed to penetrate the products deeper into the skin. That's cool. I like it. I'll use it. It reminds me to kind of, you know, put this around my face and it's a fun little ritual. But the real hero for me is the skin moisture sensor. I just love seeing how my skin has or has not improved based on which product I've used. I love traveling with this too, taking it to like different environments. Even the San Francisco Bay Area versus Los Angeles, there is such a difference in the weather and I didn't realize what a difference it made in my skin. And then because the app actually tracks my water intake and my step counts, um, it's also kind of like a slap on the wrist of like, Cassandra, you're telling everyone else to stay hydrated. You need to do it for yourself. I, I absolutely love this. They call it a skin coach. One of the coolest devices I've used in quite a long time. And if it's between the new face and this, I would say this because this actually works with my skin to track it. They do very different things. This is for like lifting and contouring. Whereas this is more for product penetration, building good skin habits and understanding your skin. So they are different. But if you ask me which one I'm currently loving, I would have to say this one. Now we did speak a hot moment about the light stim. I love the light stim. I don't have it with me right now, but I do have it professionally. It is so good. Light Stim is one of the best handheld LED devices that you can use. It's used in professional clinics and like the big panels and then in the handheld ones as well. And if you want the pro stuff at home, that's where you go to get it. And again, doctors and derms love Light Stim too. That's how I found out about Light Stim was because a derm that I worked with had it in her office. And this was ages ago. Their stuff is great. I would recommend the red and the blue, the red light for collagen stimulation and for fine lines and wrinkles and really just kind of building up the skin and for wound healing. And then the blue is actually for acne. So killing acne bacteria, trying to prevent breakouts. And I know a lot of people are like, what, a light can do that for the skin? Yes, there's actually medical studies and science behind it, which you're more than happy to check out right here. Now there's everything from Juice Beauty to Josie Moran makeup to MD Solar Science to even Tula skincare, which I feel like I might wanna buy it 20% off and try just to tell you whether or not it's worth it. I was very impressed with one of their products recently, but instead of just blabbing about it, I'm actually going to leave a list in the description. And these are the dermatologists approved brands that are on sale at Derm Store and which products I personally think are the best. So these are number one, dermatologist loved and recommended. And then number two, your acne big sister medical esthetician tried and tested. Just so that you're getting a double layer of the best of the best. And then if you want them at 20% off or double points, you can do so. Again, I've spent way too much money. Ever since my car got broken into and my skincare got stolen, I've used it as an excuse to purchase more skincare. I've spent way too much money recently, but there are a couple of other things that like I, I do kind of want to try or kind of restock on, again, like Tula. Um, but like Holofrog is on sale as well. I'm just gonna leave those in the description, except for Olaplex, which we have to do a follow-up on because, you know, we don't want anybody burning scalps out here. Overall, do remember to stay hydrated, both orally and topically. Reapply that SPF. These are ones I recommend. And always remember to be beautiful both inside and out. I love you, and I cannot wait to see you in this next video. <laughs> love you guys. Bye.